Hello, Post University Esports fans. Warren Jungle God Hammond here, bringing you the action tonight for Valorant once again. CCAC week number four, and this time your Post University Eagles taking on uh, Montclair State University. Post University currently in this spring split, sitting at a one and one record. Montclair, Montclair on the other hand, looking at two and zero. Oh. We've already ran, been uh, through the pick bands. Uh, it's going to be Icebox, Ascent, and Bind, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes, Bind to finish things off. So let's go ahead and take a peek at the agent selection. Also, big story tonight, of course, is going to be Mojo sneaking up on career kill number 1,287, which will put him on the number three all-time for post-university. So, excited to see Icebox. I haven't gotten to see it in a long time, and one of the more classic maps, of course. Um, interesting. Uh, something that's a little bit of a surprise is so far not seeing any Sage. Sage has almost been like a staple of Icebox for uh, just about as long as I can remember, because you can... Um, uh, it, the wall, the utility of the wall is just so powerful, but looks like we're not going to have it tonight, and something else I'm very excited about is to see, um, see Mojo's Yoru. That's really exciting. I haven't seen him on this agent yet, so we got the uh, Mojo kill counter again um, down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Of course, Viper is a uh, very standard pick as well. So in the absence of the Sage, I feel like you almost have to have the Viper. And so glad to see that we've got it there. Um, yeah, Killjoy as well, just phenomenal, of course, at keeping sites locked down. Well, you're obviously going to start out on attack tonight. Oh, honestly, it's awesome seeing Icebox again. It's been so long. Uh, actually, I think the big... The, the, the only real difference either of these squads have is between... Um, Alex on the KO and Mojo on Yoru. So, in fact, I'm in particular... I want to catch... Uh, see what Mojo's going to be thinking with the Yoru here. Ooh, while he goes out. A lot of action here. Cutting through. Ooh. There's a TP. Potential rotation over towards B site. If they need it. Oh, in fact, we can see KJ actually falling back uh, to kind of the corner. It's going to wait to see if Rory does decide, if Mojo does decide to. Um, TP the point here. Yeah, and he is gonna be caught. What a turn! What a turn! What a shot! Just one taps the KJ in the head. That's gonna open up B site um, completely for post university. So it's gonna be a 4v4 at this point. You're looking for that jump. L makes contact with the enemy. Orb's gonna go out. Give them a little bit of cover. Try and slow down this push that's gonna be coming in. Uh, KO's got full HP, so Yoru, Mocha's gonna have to be careful about that. Mocha takes that jet. Couple of big kills, it's gonna be a 1v1. It's just gonna be now Alex in the back line. Over towards CT. Chris still has the Aldron, which is great. It's gonna be difficult for him to move onto point to try and find a pick at this point, especially a defuse. But he is moving in for it. Yeah, there's not going to be enough time left for it. Last player Goes for the kill, but it's not going to happen. And... The round goes to post. Let's update that kill counter now. Oh, no, wait. It's just down to one. Mojo got a second kill. So, in one, one more kill, Mojo is going to be all-time number three kills for post university career kills so we're gonna make sure that we're watching him for this he's currently tied now at 1286 a nice orb go out to kind of allow for this rotation from mojo time to jump yeah gonna go ahead and put that tp back of course yeah kj's gonna be aware from it looks like this time it went by just fine 
Taking a peek to see if they make any contact, but there's not going to be any at this point. Back on A site, Dissonant has found one. Ooh, Mojo tries for the KO, but it's not going to happen. So, going to have to wait for that 1,287 kill. Spike does go down. Close University with a pretty substantial advantage here. One player up, and everybody else on B site. They were coming over for the Yoru. End up being not the play for Montclair. Ooh, 6 HP. Dissident's going to have to be careful here. Chris is going to drop in. It's going to be a 3v2, so the trade out is going to be good. And again, Montclair not moving quick enough, One I don't think, to really remaining. make it here for the defuse. Can they get the final kill as well? Yeah, they are going to be able to, but I don't think Chris is making it out of here alive on this one. Uh, oh, just barely, just barely. That's okay, though. And my arrows. Uh, thank you, everybody, for um, in chat for uh, letting me know about the stream title update. I had put in all the information, just didn't hit done. So that's on me. Apologies. Ooh, Mojo just safe. Playing this one pretty slow. And Jill takes out one. That's a lot of movement right there, so yeah. Ooh, Mojo tries with the sheriff, unable to get anything. Now L. Looking to see if they can bait somebody out from behind that wall. But these rifles are going to make it difficult for uh, Post University to push onto site and make anything happen here. They're taking it nice and slow, though. They're not pushing. They're not um, They're not panicking. They are able to narrow the field just a little bit, but Distant goes down almost immediately afterwards. Alex gets another. Ooh, L gets nailed by the dart. And that's going to be one round on the board for Montclair. Sempo's University going to have a full buy here. So a lot of rifles into it, plus a full set of shields. And gel with a sniper rifle, though, that could be problematic. Um, looks like they're setting up on A, which is one of the best spots. I feel like you typically see it on A or mid. Shot goes a little bit wide. Comes the decoy. Yeah, gel's not falling for it, unfortunately, for Post University. It looks like Post is just going to back up in the, um, with the KO ultimate out. That's going to go yeah. ahead and expire. So that's going to be good for Post University. They should be able to move forward a lot more confidently. No ultimate's online yet for uh, any of them. Alex does take out Distant, which could be problematic. That jet is going to be able to provide kind of that entry potential that you need. Here. Instead, it's going to be a slow push onto B site. AJ, the only player there right now, but everybody else is posted up on mid. Troy goes down. There's the Nano Swarm as well. One player found. That's going to be Fahrenheit down. Um, a trade, though, means that Post University is still looking a little bit rough. Mojo goes down, but left. the plant will come in. Chris, holding an angle, looking to get that high ground advantage. Gel peaked just a little bit there with the rifle, but I don't think Chris saw it. Nice work there, catching. One enemy remaining. Beautiful shot from Chris once again. The 3K! They'll make it a 4, actually, for Chris. Huge round there for Post University. They really need to make sure that they kind of recovered after, uh, you know, of course, they've got their save round. Uh, it's going to be a timeout actually coming in for 
post university, despite looking at a good um, a good situation here. But let's talk a little bit about what these ultimates mean moving into this next fight. Chris now with the Hunter's Fury, that is a beautiful post plant ultimate, right? Um, if Chris can just kind of back up off the point, maybe hold a long angle, provide some sort of support, but at the same time in such a position to where they can drop back and use that Hunter's Fury if everybody else falls in order to just prevent people from trying to defuse that spike. Dissonant probably going to hold on to the Blade Storm here because that's a great ultimate to have if you find yourself in a save round, but you still need to get that round win. Um, L with the Viper's Pit, that's going to be fantastic to have just, a, again, in kind of a post-plant situation. Sometimes you can use it to get to point as well for the plant, but I think it's most likely going to be used in a post-plant situation. Um, nobody on... Well, actually, I guess a JWNE for Montclair is about to have their Hunter's Fury as well, and that can also be used in a similar way, right? You can... Uh, to how I'll you would use him. it on attack in a post-plant situation. Except this time you could want to use it to prevent the plant. Get out of my way! Ow. Blastorm actually coming out almost immediately, so it looks like uh, they want to secure this round with as much as they can. Because if they are able to get this round win, that's going to be a pretty significant disadvantage uh, economically. Mojo. So looking for that pick. Doesn't find it. Jell able to knock them out. That's going to be a two for two trade. Post University actually on the short end of this as Jell is able to take out Distant. So those blades are gone now. And Jell's going to have theirs uh, potentially for this fight or the next. Either one. Fortunately for Post, they do have the spike still. So if they want to rotate, they can. But I like this position coming out from Montclair. They know that everybody is on a side at this point so they can just kind of slowly surround post university and take angles and just kind of keep them in place force them to Getting make the ahead. aggressive move Ooh. last player standing doesn't think that anybody's there because the sonic dart got him now it's just gonna be uh kel can't make anything happen here almost gets it done but defenders pick up that round so I anticipate this to be a pretty long series here. Oh, Alicia and Shade, thank you. Thank you for the compliment in chat. Appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate you coming to show your support for the Post University Eagles as well. So, looking at this round, yeah, Post is in a safe situation. I feel like this it might uh, have wished they had that Blade Storm still ready because that could definitely be an equalizing force here. But the other thing is, honestly, the other side isn't. Oh, no, wait. Jell's saving because they are probably going to use the blades here. So we can anticipate that coming out Blazing almost nice. certainly. I'm oh, just going to go ahead and use their ultimate. Trying to get into the back line. Scout and get information. Yeah, they're going to pick out JWE here. Oh, looks for the kill, but just misses. JWE taking them down in mid. Spawn grenade out. Chris Ramirez, of course, uh, kind of holding back here, which I think is pretty much what you would anticipate, but Gel coming here from the back line could be pretty significant as JWNE takes another one out. Just down to two here. Gel finds one. Should be able to just hold on to the spike. Looks around to find where the bullets are coming from. Eventually finds them. That's going to be a 3-3 score line now. So. Come Ant. Let's go. I got things to do. Montclair. Barring their teeth at this point. Lockdown could be big here for Post University. Let's take a peek and see where uh, Fahrenheit is. They're lagging a little bit behind right now uh, with theirs. JWNE with that new sniper rifle. Yeah. It's got two shots, longest reload in the game. That's going to be one of them down. Looks like it's going to be a B-side push here. A little bit of util and spawn to make sure that there's a if there's a rotation, they catch it. I'm just going to be peeking against two here, potentially. Ooh, yeah, they see the shoulder. There it is. That's going to be the third kill. Mojo now the number three all-time leader for post-university in total kills. Congratulations, Mojo.
1,287 is run. that a total. Here comes the uh, lockdown from Killjoy. Oops. Al looking for an, uh, just kind of holding this angle here. Again, that Viper's pick going to be so important potentially in a post-plant situation. Throws up the wall to give him a little bit of cover, but that's going to be a nice uh, nano swarm to try and keep the plant left. from happening in an ideal position. Instead, they got one in a pretty good spot. Knife goes out. Alex misses with it, but doesn't miss with the bullets. That's going to be uh, three players to two. It's just going to be down to Alex now to see if they can make something happen. Beautiful shot there. Close University has to do is kind of hold this angle, prevent Alex from trying to push out. They have taken a little bit of damage already. Ooh, as does Dissonant. Kel the Kelp on the KJ. To hold down this angle, play and dosido -do a little bit with Alex. I was thinking here they've kind of gone behind those boxes. Alex wants to push in, but just can't. Now with that spike beeping, they're not going to be able to get that kill. So everybody's going to run, and Post University reclaims the lead, four to three. Let's fly. Here. Here. Who dissonant. The daring move to take that high ground, but ends up working out great for them. Headshot. And take out gel. Now post university's gonna have to worry about this uh the Viper's pit potentially, because yeah, we can see. That Goth Mimbo is just sitting on point, most likely waiting for that potentiality. Here comes a fake out. Yep. Nice blinding. Goth Bimbo finds their way into the Hunter's Fury, desperately trying to escape, taking damage. Mojo peeks around that corner, finds the kill. It's going to be a trade, though. It's still 3v3. It's Fahrenheit peeks. See if they can get a pick onto Mojo, but not quite. Mojo feels the damage coming in from behind. They know they're kind of pinned in here between all three players from Montclair. Chris, gonna get the plant. Like planted. Oh, oh, revealing area. Oh. Nano Swarm doing a lot of damage there, there. unable to get out of it quite as quickly as they needed to, but they do know where Fahrenheit is now, which is big. Ooh, JWNE takes down Mojo, so it's a 2v2 once again. And Chris cannot take any damage. They're looking real rough here. I like this angle though that Last Kelp is holding. Standing. Yeah, if they could just prevent the defuse here. I don't think they have any nano swarms left though. Look for a fake here on the defuse. Oh no, they're actually just going for it. Remaining. Getting covered. Oh my gosh, almost gets the kill. The uh, enemy KJ goes down to just a sliver of health. Pulls the score, four to four. Swarm grenade out. So with this being such a back and forth affair, neither team has really had an opportunity to make um, much, uh, to, to accumulate that much of a buffer in terms of their econ, right? Uh, both teams are really kind of relying on getting wins to make sure that they've still got rifles. So at this point, there's going to be a force coming out from Post University. Uh, three rifles. The big thing that was uh, Montclair is sitting on four ultimates right now. That could be tough. This isn't taking a nice angle here. So kind of that front front path. L puts up there. Wall, but it goes down immediately due to Alex's ultimate. Alex takes a little bit of chip damage. Post University seems content to just wait it out. They've got a minute on the clock, so they don't have to move if they don't want to. Although Dissonant is kind of pinned in at this point. They do still have their dash, so they should be able to get away. In addition, they've got their blade swarm as well, but this time it looks like they might be waiting. They might be holding on to it. Knife not going to find anything. Yep, here comes the dash. Ooh, they see just the top of Dissonant's head. Goth Bimbo exchanges a little bit of fire. Dashes back. 
Just gonna see if maybe they can get a pick on the goth. Just isolate that 1v1. Dodges the flash. And this is nice because it's given a big opportunity now for post university to start to rotate this thing. Yeah, it's gonna keep pushing back here towards CT to maybe see if they can get a couple of picks on this rotation. Oh, but it looks like everybody's actually come back here, so this could be rough or distant. Depending on how many swings. That's gonna be one, make it two. Uh, Not to do any further, but Goth Bimbo takes them out. 14 seconds left to go. Post University has to plan here. And Fahrenheit goes down. Kelp finds the pick. Oh ho ho ho. Last player standing. So it's gonna be down to Goth. But yeah, beautiful play here from L. Bloody Util going out from Goth, but picks come in in favor of Post University. They're going to pick up that other round, and that's a big one because they were definitely playing from a disadvantage there. So now, oh, might still be able to get, no, not quite. Uh, no opportunity to get full rifles here for Montclair, which is kind of what we expected. I select them and them. Yeah, gonna be using that blade storm here. So again, anticipate that coming out almost immediately. Out. This. And here we go. Already pushed up pretty far forward. Looks for the shots. They don't come in. The knives do not land. Alex with a 3k before L finally deals with them. And the recon bolt came in, so... He has an idea of where they are. Try to use the shock bolt. They're going to come face to face with L here in just a second. He gets the pick. Placing alarm bot. Yeah, Kel can hear people coming around from spawn. It's going to be a nice plant here. They're going to be able to get it off without any trouble because of the wall. Down. Placing swarm grenade. Here from L. Swarm Kill grenades for bot. the post plant. L now dueling no, with Goth standing. Bimbo. Goth takes them out. Kel, though, completely able to. Take this big wide swing from Goth, and that wide swing definitely threw off the aim of Cal. So, again, back and forth, five to five. Thanks. Oh no, no, you don't deserve my inventions. What if Fahrenheit is actually going to be saving here? They're going to have a lockdown. Which means that Post University needs to make sure that they push with plenty enough time to trigger that, right? They're not going to be able to kind of wait to see what happens. They need to make sure that they've got plenty of time. Here comes a Viper's Pit as well. That's going to isolate. Ooh. Huge plays from Mojo to try and take out Fahrenheit. They're able to follow it up. With another pick on the JWNE. <laughs> Mocha now put a little distance between themselves and the number three. Time to jump. Top fragger of all time, or the number four, I guess. Gel looking the wrong way. <coughs> Mojo is gunned down, though. So 3v3, but the spike is planted. They don't have to worry about KJ's. Ooh, that's a nice bank right there. I'll try and force somebody out. They don't have to worry about the lockdown. Last player standing. Ooh. Not gonna be the final player here. Can they pull this off? They're able to take out one. They swing for the next, but Goth is ready for it. Finds the pick, and now for the first time, I do believe Montclair is gonna have the lead. And we're looking towards the last round in the half. Last round before the switch. Gun here. Cal wants to make sure that they get this um, this lockdown because that's going to be the big piece of the puzzle, I think, that Post University needs to get this round win. They're staring down three ultimates from the other side. Plus, it's going to be a pretty nice buy from them, Tyr, and this is definitely, uh, you know, Post University's uh, getting everything they can. 
to make it happen. Scanning ahead. There they are. Scanning for a little bit of info. I think this is going to be one of the first wholesale rotations I've seen seen through mid for post university. Taking it nice and slow here. They want to try and isolate members of Montclair. They need to play this kind of with a player advantage since they don't have the gun advantage. This is kind of leading the way here. Contact has been made. WA takes down two on post side. Fahrenheit holding that angle. Chris looking for an opportunity. Doesn't quite get it as Jell just swings. Finds the pick. Liver of health left. Oh, the spike doesn't quite go down. That's going to be a 7 5 half. Very, very close between both of these squads tonight. Switching sides. With a composition like this, out. you're going to have to play this um, defense, I think, pretty aggressively since you have uh, the Yoro on your team. So I'm going to be expecting lots of flanks kind of coming out from Mojo. Um, lots of Mojo kind of like pushing into the back line, pushing into spawn. Cutting through. <laughs> yeah, we can see already moving pretty aggressively to the front here. Joe might not be aware that somebody has already pushed there. Yep, they spotted them out. TP to get out of harm's way. But that means that they've kind of left the rest of the team. Shell finds one. It's going to be a big rotation, so Post University seems to be aware of it now since a lot of time has gone by and nothing has happened. Ooh. Exchanges a little bit of fire with Goth, who ends up running. Takes uh, the. It's a little worse for wear there. Spike does go down. Oh, no, not yet. They thought about it. Nice placement of that util there area. to prevent the uh, spike. Mojo ties it up at four apiece now. Chris, holding this angle pretty aggressively. Look at this. We got another rotation going back over to A. If you got 30 seconds, you can make it over left. to the other site and plant oh. there. So, Chris, aware of this now, calling it out to the rest of the team. Mojo's going to be the first one kind of on site as we can hear the spike going down. Not there quite quick enough to get the pick while they're planting. Ooh, JWNE with the shots. Get it done. Goth finds a second. Kel now. With Chris. Last player standing. It's a 1v4. It's going to be tough for Kel as we can hear the rest of the team just kind of moving in. They don't have to really worry about making a whole lot of sound because they can just take this. Nice kill, though. Hurt the economy just a little bit. I feel like it's always tougher to... If you lose the pistol round, it's tougher kind of being on the defense, uh, the defender side. Because if you lose that pistol round on the attacker side, at least you can kind of all group up and see again if you can just use your that numbers defense. advantage to uh, get um, get the kills that you need to secure a round win. So, it's going to be tough for Post University, but I like that they've kind of triple stacked on A because this definitely seems to be the direction that Montclair wants to take the fight. They're playing it pretty far back to recognize that yeah, they don't have the gun advantage, but Gel catches a peaking dissident. That's going to pull everybody back over to A site. But again, Montclair really, really a fan of these rotations. They're going to try and take it up through mid, so uh, Mojo might be able to get a little bit of information here. If they can, that'll help their team post-rotate to where they need to be. Spotted Goth. 
situation is, does Montclair continue with a rotation? It doesn't look like they're going to. L now, the lone player on point, tries to swing, but finds two people. Shall going to be the one to take him down. The spike is going to be planted on A site, so now. Rotation coming through as Goth takes out Chris. Mojo looking for one. Oh, they're able to find it. No flawless round this time, but a four round deficit for Post University. They definitely need to pick up a win right here to avoid things just kind of spiraling out of control for them, but they're going to have the gun advantage. Placing sentry. Time for a field test. Placing alarm bot. Placing swarm grenade. Placing swarm grenade. Ah, tear it down. Okay, it's going to be a B-site hit this time, so all that util that Kel put out is going to be very, very useful. The rest of post-universe needs, needs to make sure that they rotate quickly enough, although it's interesting because Mockfire really hasn't done a lot of quick pushes, but it looks like this time they are. They're going to try and throw things off just a little bit. Chris peeks around that corner, finds gel. It's going to be good for one. Spike still hasn't been planted. We're just going to start pushing up here through mid as yeah the rotation has come over to the a site now so they don't want to try and deal with all that util that kj has dropped on b Ooh, alex finds one it's gonna be dissident now trying to keep things at bay there it takes a couple of shots but has to dash out it's a good thing they did that shock dart came in right on the tail that move it's gonna be a pretty quick push onto point now Alex takes out L. We can find that KJ. Left. The KJ just has a sliver of health, so one stray bullet, one errant shot. That's all planted. that they need. Ooh, this is unable to find that headshot. Ooh, wasn't aware of Goth holding that angle still. Last player standing. It's gonna be a 1v3. Chris tries to take out a jumping JWNE, but they're able to crouch at the last moment. They got the jukes, and Chris goes down. So, this is just three rounds now that Montclair has to pick up to take this first map. Like the timeout coming from post. Because they played that first half great, uh, and it's 7 to 5, so it's been just a. I believe three unanswered rounds now? Yeah. Actually, I guess five if you count the rounds, six if you count the rounds before the half. So, Post University knows they can get the job done. I'd imagine that's what Coach Meech is telling them in chat. No ultimate's really coming online for Post University, so they're gonna, this is definitely gonna be a true save here, I think. I don't think we're going to see the force. It's certainly possible here. But I think if you do that, you might be shooting yourself in the foot for future rounds. So. Yeah, post University University definitely thinks it's going to be an A site hit. Revealing uh, every time Montclair, just about every time they've tried to go for B, they end up deciding not to. And yeah, post actually putting up pretty, pushing up pretty aggressively. Mojo really likes the spot right here, and I like this from a Yoru as well. Didn't work out for him last time we saw him try it, but that doesn't mean it wasn't a bad or wasn't a good idea. Cal holding down mid. Fahrenheit finds dissonant. Found them. Grenade out. Yeah, they put out the Swarm, swarm grenade, grenade to stop the plant. That's going to give Post University time to rotate. And we can see L coming through mid now to kind of group up with Kel. Montclair taking their time, baiting the plant once again. To get a little bit more util out. Ooh, Kel 
swings this a little bit wide, doesn't quite clear the corner that they need. Mojo finds two, that's gonna even it up. Now it's gonna be a slight advantage here for Post University. It's just down to the jet. And they've got the spike. Ooh, gel though. Very big shot right there. Mojo pushing through, spawn. Ooh, Chris takes a little bit of damage. 30 seconds Gel left. dashes. Fake's dashing up, actually. Stays on the ground, I believe. Standing. Ooh, Mojo goes down. Just 30-some HP. Fake's going up to that high ground. Chris might get a shot here. What? A patient play nothing. from Chris. And ooh, Gel was scary that round. Scary enough to get their blades. Scary enough to get their knives. Mojo has dimensional drift now, so they can use this to kind of get behind and see what the other squad is thinking. Really going to be curious to see how Mojo decides to use this. Once again, pushing to this very aggro position. Allie, here's a little bit happening above. Is that somebody is thinking about going through that tunnel? Swings around that corner, finds Goth. It's gonna be a trade as Mojo goes down. Or they get a chance to use their dimensional drift. I'm gonna see if they can prevent anybody from leaving that tube. There's not gonna be anybody in there. I like the idea. Chris finds another. Suppose University is starting to narrow that gap just a little bit. Yeah, KO down to just a little bit of HP as well. Just in holding a nice angle with that sniper rifle. So one player advantage, so this certainly isn't over yet, especially with Gel still on the board. Spike's gonna go down, L finds Gel. Beautiful play here from Post University. Get the defuse. First one I think we've seen for, uh, yeah, for Post here. And they narrow the gap to three. Looks like that chat with Coach Meech helped a lot. <laughs> Love to see it. This one's got to be feeling good. Put that up. It's going to provide some much needed coverage here on A. Because Kel has been just about enough to prevent I'll handle this. Montclair from wanting to even go to B site. Mojo causes a little, causes a little I'm back. chaos there. Is not able to stay behind because there's no obvious kill that would have been a death sentence for her, even if he just stuck around. But gets a lot of good information. Distant able to find one. Looking for another JWNE. How are they going to risk it? This distant rotates just a little bit. It's good not to stay in one place too terribly long. Give the enemy opportunity to circle around you. The rotation is coming out to B, so now. I like how much post is holding in the middle here as well. That means they can kind of rotate where they're needed very quickly. Wall comes out now from Montclair. So post probably aware that that uh, sight hit's going to come on to B. I am the hunter. Ella finds another one in the chaos. Rent by the hunter's fury as Chris picks up one another one. Post University looking for a flawless round here. Standing ahead. It's just JWNE behind the box. Able to find one. But Dissident picks up the second. And now, get to decide what guns to pull for the next round. So that gap has been narrowed to two. But Montclair is going to be able to buy up full this time. And they're sitting on five ultimates. So Montclair, I think the big thing they need to do is they need to get this round win here, and they need to make sure that they don't overspend with some of these ultimates. 
Blade's probably gonna stay in. Anticipate we're only gonna see the Lockdown or the Viper's Pit if they get the plant. And if they get it one or the other. You are yeah, this is just such a great initiation too. Not surprised to see that at all. Ooh, yeah, everybody pushing here to A site. Yep, here comes the Viper's Pit. Beautiful dash there from Gel to find that high ground. Mojo gets one. But now this is going to be very tough for Post University to deal with. Oh, the lockdown could be big, though. Here comes Chris. Uh, actually, no, it's going to be the enemy throwing in that Hunter's Fury as Mojo dives in. They're able to pick out one player. Beautiful shot from behind, but it's going to be taking some damage. Doesn't matter. Still finds the pick on the Goth. There's two players remaining. Looking for that defuse. They're going to be able to not quite get one. I don't know if there's going to be enough time to get that second one. As they look for the kills, not going to be able to find them. And Montclair stops the bleeding. But Post University won enough in a row to where they're still going to be able to get a full buy here. Another big thing is that was a very costly round for Montclair. Uh, not only was Post University able to get a couple of kills, but they had to spend three ultimates to secure that round. Post spent a pair of their own, but they've still got a couple. Uh, they got one on the way. Distant could get theirs very easily here, and L does have the Viper's Pit. Dissident readies the dash. Ooh. Not going to be picked up by the knife. Flash comes in, too. It's going to force him to stay back, so quite a bit of... Uh, Quite a bit of map gained right there. Gel considering going in, but instead throws the cloud storm or the cloud burst to back off. Big rotation coming up through mid, and it looks like looks like the hit might come on to B. Joe Peak Smith doesn't quite find anybody. Not men, but way into the back line. Mojo says, no, no. This is my CT. Contact made on A site. 30 seconds left. So now, you're going to have to commit to this one. And ooh, L taken out by Gel. Beautiful play there. Beautiful position coming out from Montclair. Early advantage post University now has just evaporated. Uh, my ult's ready. Able to get one though, Last Dissident finds standing. Gel. But with three players to go, they're gonna have to move quickly. Yeah, they're gonna go opt for a rifle instead uh. because they know they can get the kills quicker, but Alex finds them. Trying to check a different angle, and now we are match at point. match point for Montclair. Still certainly within striking distance for Post University. They need five rounds to bring it to a tie. And then extra two on top of it to secure the map win. Out. And at this point, if you're Post University, you have to force. Right? I'll Mojo are going to go looking, seeing who they can find. They've picked out three with their dimensional drift. I'm back. It's a lot of good information gained there. Post University knows how kind of they want to set up. The hit's coming in on A site, though. A lot of action happening here. L is able to get one. Chris finds another one. So, big advantage. It's going to be two players down, but both players from Post University took a little bit of damage in that exchange as well. So, they're going to have to play it a little bit safer. And Montclair looking for that rotation over to B. It's just Mojo there right now. But Post University has three in mid, so they can rotate relatively quickly if they need to. 
Mojo sends out a decoy, does find someone, so now they can be fairly confident that the hit's going to be coming onto B site, but it looks like Post doesn't want to move yet because they know how likely it is that Montclair is going to go for that rotate, especially since they have 40 seconds left. There's still time for them to do that. Nice, able to stop the plant. With 30 seconds left to go, they're going to have to do it relatively quickly. They fake it out one more time. JWNE finds distant though. One enemy it's going to be Chris finding a third. Mojo gets the next one. Post University staves off defeat. Stays in the game. Gets some much needed cash in the bank. So they're going to be able to pull out the rifles this time around. But again, because of how many uh, Montclair won, they should be looking at close to a full buy here, if not a full buy. They also know that they don't have to play this... Uh, they have the opportunity to save if they want to, right? They've got a little bit of breathing room. They've got a little bit of a buffer, right? Because even if Post University pulls it up to 12, it's still win by two. Get out of my way! Knives are going to come out. Time to jump. It's going to be a pretty quick push in. Alex makes contact with Mojo, who's going to back out. KJ has actually set up the util on A now, trying to throw, out, throw off Montclair just a bit. It still looks like they want to push in on in this direction. And they can hear a lot of action happening. Gel taking a little bit of damage. Looks to peek. See if they can find something. Oh, ho, ho. beautiful shots there from Chris or from Gel. Take one down. Alarm got five gets triggered. They able to get a nice kill. It's going to be a 3v3 now, but the knives are still out. Oh, no, they're not. They're down. Sorry. Wrong jet. That was going to temporarily disable Kel. Ooh, JWNE coming into the back line, but isn't aware of it. I don't think Alex knows that Kel's going to be there. Yeah, you're going to be able to almost spray through. They barely get the kill in the nick of time. Fahrenheit, just a sliver of health, I'm trying to back off. As Dissident goes in for the kill, finds it, secures a 4K. And Post University coming back strong. Two to tie. Yeah, buckle in chat. We might <laughs> we might be in for a long night of Valorant here. I couldn't be happier about it. Here. Lockdown's gonna be the biggest thing that I think Post needs to be aware of here, but here. if Chris is able to get a couple of old orbs or a couple of a uh, kill or two then that could certainly help mitigate that problem or that potential problem. Alex takes a little bit of damage. Dissonant forced to dash away. Still going to try and hold on to that high ground as the rest of Montclair starts to move in. Knife comes out. It's going to suppress Dissonant, but they're not going to give up that positioning. They know that they don't have to right now because Montclair isn't making any moves. Kel finds one. Gel kind of over in that corner. It's going to be difficult for them to get out. They're likely going to have to use their dash or club burst. Possibly both. Mojo finds a second, slowly picking apart the back line, but Fahrenheit strikes back. You should run. Yeah, and here comes. Ooh. The lockdown. Spike planted. Spike does get planted on B site. So now the impetus is on post university. They can double swing here on the JWNE. They look for it, but they're able to get the Colette. They find one. So now it's just down to Chris, and he's got to get the kills, and he's got to get the spike defuse. That's a lot to ask. Montclair holds on to make it 13 to 10. What a game. Post University certainly within striking distance uh, that entire time. In fact, had the lead for a solid amount of time uh, at the beginning of this match. Just lost it there, kind of in the middle. And uh, Mojo has now destroyed that third uh, place all-time kill uh, list. So... 
We will be headed to Ascent next, a classic map. In fact, all three of these are pretty classic uh, tonight. So, going to take about a five-minute break. Don't go anywhere. We will be back with more Valorant action here at the ECAC for your post-university Eagles. See you all soon.
Hello everybody and welcome back to the action. We are here with map number two. It's going to be Ascent. I uh, uh, do need to apologize. I uh, initially called the, uh, the, the league wrong. We are, at the, uh, we are in NECC. There's week number three uh, right now. So, <clears throat> as we load into Ascent, one of the most classic maps here in Valorant. A couple of things I want to mention. Number one is that mid is very, very powerful here. Incredibly powerful. So... Uh, look for both of the jets to trying to be trying to be holding trying to hold that down. Um, in addition, if that fails, Sova's going to be able to do it uh, very well as well. So um, that's going to definitely be something to look out for. No surprise that we're going to see KJ as that util is very very uh, useful, especially on B site. Uh, once again, Mojo on the Yoru again. Love to see this. Um, a very very exciting agent that you get to watch uh, play. I'm well, currently uh, thinking about the Omen as well for Smokes. Goth turning to Astra. Very, very powerful um, controller to play, but also very difficult. You get full map control uh, in a lot of ways, and the Util is incredibly powerful. The Gravity Well can be absolutely massive. That combined with, say, um, uh, you know, Fahrenheit's uh, Nano Swarm, something like that, can just burst down several players whoever whoever frankly gets caught in the gravity well so that's definitely something that's going to be uh that post university is going to need to be careful about they're going to be careful of um because that's just such a great piece of utility to drop in a choke to prevent a team from entering um and then just straight up killing them so that's definitely going to be the big thing on my mind is how does post university play around this astra Yeah, we can see KJ already going over to B site. No surprises there. And yep, Jet posted up in mid like we expect. Uh, Sova holding down A. I really actually like this defensive plan coming out from uh, Montclair right now. It's uh, very classic, very by the book, by the numbers. Shadows traveling. Ooh, that's going to be a nice... Uh, Sonar to illuminate a couple of players. Yeah, there's that. That's for you, so Big shots coming out from L to take one down. Now we're going to see the push over to A. Alex finds Dissonant, though. This is going to be a one for one trade. So now Chris gets the Al drone out to see if they can find anything. They pick up that the. Action is coming from further towards CT, so they pushed up pretty aggressively here. There's going to be a couple of players, so right here. as long as they take this in the right way. Beautiful oh. shots coming in, but Alex just stands their ground and is able to get the tracking they need to find the pick on the post. One player disadvantage here for Post University. So they currently decide what to do. They've got full control here over mid. Ooh, but the knife is going to tag Kel. It's going to slow them down just a bit. And we can see that a couple of players Last are looking player to try and kind of swing at the same time here. JWNE left. takes down Spike one. Down, Kel looks for a second, but only a little bit of health left remaining. They surround them and take them out. So Montclair goes up 1-0. to zero. A little bit of action in mid as Jell with the sniper rifle picks out one. L is down. Goth finds a second. Chris from Plays with Fire looks to see if they can uh, maybe find a lucky tag, lucky headshot. But nothing to beat. Sub. Love the way that Montclair is just <clears throat> kind of descending on everybody. Chris is going to be aware. Beautiful shots to take out the enemy Sova. Just hyper aware of how that Aldrone works. Spike down A. 
Gonna be down to Dissident. Try to get something done, but a little bit of damage here. Of course, we do expect Montclair to win that round. Post he already takes down one, so it won't be a little bit a little bit of damage to the Econ there. But Post is now going to have a nice full buy. Turret out. The way that Montclair is really controlling the map when they get, you know, each successive kill, I think is one of the things that's giving them a lot of success here. It's making it difficult for Post to kind of fight back. Stay safe right and turn some of these situations uh that are a little less than ideal to their advantage but now they've got the gun so they definitely need to pick up a round win here jwne holding that one angled knife gonna shut down dissident Util being expended to allow Montclair to rotate over towards a side. So Post University needs to make a decision here. Do they continue to go in, or they do they decide to rotate over to B? But again, look at how well Montclair has kind of surrounded everybody. Just it tries to dash in, but it's going to be taken down. Uh, Mojo strikes back though, finds a pair. There comes the gravity well. So once again, that's going to be slowing down. The push and it briefly isolated Mojo, but he's able to stay alive. Smokes come out. It's gonna be enough enemy control to gain sight. So the spike does go down. Now it's just gonna be up to KJ for Montclair to see if they can make something happen. They're gonna be in heaven right now. Hell just holding underneath is aware that somebody's up top and Mojo gets the ace! Wasn't even tracking that. The 5k. <laughs> With numbers like that, Mojo might be sneaking up on number two in the all-time track list. I'm going to have to find out who uh, who currently has that for a post-university, because it, be, it might be in danger. So that also means Mojo has his ult, right? So I think that's uh, definitely something to consider. Right? Does Mojo decide to use it here? Because now it's going to be a full buy from Montclair. This is going to be one of the rounds that really separates things. Sniper shot goes out. Doesn't find anything. The knife as well. Shut things down. Mojo probably wants to wait until all of that util from KO is expended. Before they go in. Just then finds one. Comes the decoy. It's not going to fool anybody this time around. JD when he finds the shot. Alex picks up another one. So now Post University going to need to take this slow. A little bit more methodically. A little bit more carefully. That goes out once again. Yeah, Post University thinking about the rotate. They've got about 45 seconds left, so they're going to need to pick a site relatively soon. And it looks like they might try their luck on B as they kind of group up for this push. Ooh, no, they're going to go for the fake. They're going to go for the fake rotation, but Montclair is just kind of holding their ground. They're not going to be put off uh, by a potential rotation here. They know better than to just put all their eggs in one right, basket yeah. and assume that that's what post university is doing it's all going to be about how they do this entry oh they're aware that the outcome's there they're going to be able to take out jw &E. no not quite as they have found another one kj's going to have to get this spike planted immediately there is no way for them <laughs> to with just a second remaining finds the kill but fahrenheit just a little bit quicker on the trigger so, it'll be round number three here for Montclair. So, me chopping for an earlier timeout this time, and I think that's a great idea. Use it now. Um, you know, before things start to spiral out of control, because that pep talk that Meech gave last time around worked wonders.
couple of players might actually be able to afford rivals here. It'll be interesting to see if Post University decides to do that or not. I think one of the big things Post needs to do is just be very aware. Century. Very aware of mid right now. And maybe not try and push that because. Gel has been great with that operator. And yeah, it's gonna be, looks like a full push onto B potentially. Mojo actually, big little pressure on mid. Destiny goes down immediately, as apparently Gel had rotated over to A site. So never mind uh, that. Gel just being very sneaky, making sure that they're keeping as much at bay as they can. Mojo. Pulls around, Gel takes another shot in mid, but doesn't find anything. Chris picks up a gun to try and push this relatively quickly. JWNE does go down, but Post University still working from a deficit now. Need to find a way to turn this around just a little bit. Who's next? L has the spike. It will get planted as the door does shut. Ooh. So Mojo playing with fire right there. L needs to find a way to try and keep the point safe. Tries to throw in a little bit of smoke Last can give the point standing. up just a little bit as mojo does go down so now l looking to see if they can take out a couple of players before they move back in doesn't quite find it though team ace but I believe that was a save route for post university so they're gonna have the rifles back here so again not unanticipated They were going to take a loss that round, but certainly don't like to see it. And I potentially have to deal with knives as well from Chow. Which have definitely been on tonight. They have definitely been on the mark. Stealing sight. I'm going to cover a little up. bit of util, maybe try and fake a push onto A. Nice duel here from Dissident, but that. knife comes out, so they're not going to be able to dash away. They're just staying right now in this Astro smoke. Shock Dart doesn't find anyone. Goth currently holding an angle, picks up the shoulder of Dissident. Altrone comes out, finds out, yep, Dissident is. I'm going to go over near Cafe. Astro Star actually allowing Post University to kind of rotate through mid, so that ended up being a boon for them. But we can see that Astro has moved up kind of towards mid. Ooh, nice shot from Alex, but Mojo is there to return the favor. Now Chris holding this angle, looking for Astro, does find them. But Jell takes off Mojo, so it's going to be a 3v3. Very quickly devolves into a 1v3 is... Hell, once again, it's going to be the last player standing for Post University. They see the spike. 30 seconds left. I'm going to drop back just a little bit, see if they can find a different angle to get in. They may have faked out JW. But 20 seconds left to go. L. Yeah, I think L is just looking for a save here. Maybe to see if they can get uh, an exit pick or something. Oh. Tries to find it, but JWNE shots just land a little bit more true, so... This one's starting to get away from Post University a little bit. They need to rally at this point, but fortunately for them, they're looking at another. Oh no, they're gonna they're gonna buy up. It looks looks like this might be a force. This then almost has their knives. I wouldn't be surprised if we see um, Kel use their lockdown to try and gain entry on to B site. After smokes are dropped. Gel finds another one. Gel has just been unstoppable with the operator. This is, it doesn't even have an opportunity to make anything happen. So post currently debating a rotation. 
You're definitely going for it. Oma needs to be careful right there because... Oof. Yeah, Alex was right Spike there. Down, Just played it calm, played it slow, and now... Post University with a very difficult job to try and recover that spike that everybody just has a beautiful handle on. Kel's able to get one, looks for a second. As Mojo, armed with a sheriff in a dream, catches the top of Jell's head, can hear everybody moving around mid, but again, needs to isolate these 1v1s. That's the name of the game here. Yeah, nobody has any idea 30 seconds where left. Mojo is, but they hear the gun get picked up. They check the wrong oh, angle, okay, but still else? able to pick off Gel. So if they can even just guard that operator, that might be all that they want to do at this point. <laughs> Tries to get another one, but not quite. So now, yeah, they're going to, uh, Montclair going to be able to recover that operator, which is certainly going to be a big deal for them on this defense, but... Force didn't work out. So now the question is, how does Post University rally? How do they recover here? Two operators now, actually. Oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> oh, nope, it's back. Is it going to stay? Who knows? We will find out. Four ults on uh, each side, though. Here. The question is, does Distant or Gel, do they open with the knives? Distant might. Actually, Distant just has the uh, pistol, so I think way. that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah. Already. Flash goes out. Gel Distant drops towards the back. Able to get one. Now we've got the lockdown on B site. So, Goth Bimba, though, able to take out a pair. Ooh. That's going to be the lockdown destroyed as well. So, just two players remaining at Proposed University. Mojo fakes the plan. Ooh, gets knifed as well. Looks for the shot. Does find Goth. And in fact, Kel picks up the pick onto Alex as well. So the res is a possibility. But can they hold it long enough? Here come the knives now. From Gel. That's Mojo just currently holding point. Kel finds Alex. It's going to be a 2v1. Beautifully done. Finds the other. And Mojo clutches out the round. To put a big deal about it. Post University back on the board. Gain a little bit of confidence there. Four round deficit. If they can uh, pick up these next four, they'll end the half even. Right? Even a pickup of two to three would be big at this point as well. And they pulled out three ultimates from the opposition. Only used their knives. Uh, actually, I guess they used their knives and the lockdown. But they gained an ultimate too. <laughs> also, I'm very much appreciating the rhyme game in chat right now. I love this. Here. Oh, there is the operator. We know where it is now. Yeah, here this. comes the dimensional drift. I was expecting this relatively soon. Probably wants to see if he can find uh, that operator. My pot of no yeah. Ooh, nice job from Dissident and Mojo. Pick one up. Dissident does fall, but still, Post University has a one player advantage now. Scatter. What you can hear somebody on the high ground there. Probably got a pretty good idea that it's going to be Gel with that operator. Takes a couple shots. Gel now aware that somebody's up there. Mojo drops back. Yeah. Nox does even the playing field just a little bit here. Ooh. 30 seconds left. Hell is on site. So there are a couple people remaining. That's going to be a 2v2 now. Oh, and the operator just too Spike much to down. handle. So standing. now can Mojo... Finish things off here. Just got a couple seconds left. They have to get the kill at this point. Ten seconds left. Oh, and just caught looking the wrong way as Alex finds the pick. So, Post University now looking for a 7 5 half here. If they can do that, get to their defensive round. Still be well within striking distance, the win here. 
They did spend a lot that time. Ultimate stores have been depleted. Cosmic Divide is up and ready to go, and that's, uh, again, another one. Astra, Astra Util, Astra abilities can be pretty tough to use, but used well, uh, this could be a big difference maker. So, again, if it comes out, the question is, how does Post University play around it? Mocho a little bit. Oh my gosh, what a peek from Gel, right? As the Flash was coming out, unable to get around that corner in time. Gel probably going in for a peek right here. Chris is able to get it done. Shadow. Three v two at this point. L picks up a sheriff. And we'll slowly back up. Got a rifle as well. Forty eight seconds to go, so the rotation can come in. Ooh, Goth pushing up pretty aggressively. L wants to hold this corner and see if they can find the pick. Oh, they drop back around at the last moment, and it looks like they're gonna find him from behind. But they don't get the pick. Goth Bimbo had a golden opportunity there. To put that round away, but just doesn't quite find what they need. 20 seconds to go, though. Post University has to get this plant. They have to get it fast. Otherwise, they need to get the kills. We see the turret Last come out to try and give them a little bit of info. They're going to see if they can make something happen. Ten seconds left. They've got just enough time to push onto point and plant. But they're going to have to deal with Fahrenheit, who's already there, and finds them on their way in. Tough. Tough moment right there but kudos to them for a great attempt all right so the rifles are back don't overthink it that's my job Joe dodges the flash, pulls out a little bit of util. Knife goes out too. Astra's uh, pushing this pretty aggressively, so Mojo's gonna need to swing quickly. They hope to live, but Goth a little bit quicker. Just had that lined up. This isn't finds one, so the trade is good. Cover going out. Blinding. I'm throwing a little bit in to see if they can get across. Alex is gonna meet him though over in tree. It looks like, but Axe is actually going to get, uh, take some aggression potentially from two sides. L moves in quickly, but Alex gets the shot before Dissonant finds him. So again, 3v3. Uh, Fahrenheit drops the lockdown. Kelp going to try for the plant, but is forced off of it now. Staying pretty long. They're going to have to push out pretty quickly. Kel goes again for the plant, but not going to find it. 9-2. Montclair has Last really found their the stride in this game. Post University, can you make it 9-3? Can you put up the possibility for the 9-3 curse? Come into the unknown. Right here. Take flight. He's gonna throw the drone out mid. Yeah, I got a peek of Goth. Found him. Able to get them through the wall. Love to see it. Huge advantage there for Post University. Because now not only do they have a pick, but they've also got mid control. So that means they can push in either direction pretty effectively, pretty quickly. And it looks like they're gonna make at least a little bit of noise on B. Aware that probably KJ gonna be the only person holding down B as well, just because of the util that's so powerful. Del though does sneak up and find one, but they're gonna be traded out, so it's still one player advantage now for Post University. As Chris Ramirez just trying to bait out anybody. 
Uh, Alex takes a fall towards CT as well, so now it's just going to be down to two players. One on each one side. Remaining. One goes down, the next falls, and post university, Get you got the potential way. for the 9 3 curse. Let's make it happen. Switching sides. So Post University actually abandoning mid altogether here for just a little bit more control on site. This is holding pretty aggro at the moment. It's going to be a nice one way coming out from L. And yeah, nobody going to be pushing A site. So let's take, take a peek now on Kel. Kel's actually pushed up pretty aggressively here. If and when the push comes in, it's going to be difficult for them to kind of back out if they need to. But Mojo finds one. Ah, turn down. Shots exchanged. As yeah, Montclair still seems to want to push this B site. Ooh, Dart not going to reveal anything, so that could make them a Swamp little bit more out. confident to try and push in. Swamp Grenade does go down. Ooh, Chris able to get a lot of information there with that Sonic Dart. And now we're going to see a wholesale, wholesale rotation come out from Montclair. Post University still abandoning mid. Mojo might make first contact here as everybody's just kind of rushing through tree. That's going to be a nice blind and dissonant waiting in a beautiful position. Able to get another One shot down. Remaining. The trade is good. Spike so it's down just A. down to KO. Should be pretty... Go with pretty quickly here as Chris Ramirez finishes them off and gets post university another round on the board. The comeback is started. Go with a similar setup here. Three and two. Once again, just kind of leaving mid open. And it looks like A is going to be the name of the game here for Montclair. Uh, JWNE is posting up on mid. Alex actually kind of leading the way through mid. Right here. Yeah, JWNE is Standing watching ahead. them all literally. Oh, no, wait. That's their own team, of course. Um, <laughs> Alex is able to get one down. He's posting kind of a tough position. It's dissonant. Taking that high ground now. Just goes ahead and pushes through that smoke. Can hear the plant. Mojo gets one. Make it two. Spike down. Alex a. is pushing pretty quickly up on this high ground. Ooh. The flash briefly stops dissonant. Isn't Spike able to landed. land those shots, but knows there's somebody below him. The 3v3. Trying to see if maybe they just get the collat through the floor. Because Alex is about half health right now. Revealing area. Ooh, recon bolt does go down. So now the drop's going to happen here. Looks the wrong way, so Alex gets the kill. Campos University even things up here. They're going to have to do it quickly if they hope to defuse. Coming in with a shotgun. Goes for the defuse. Going to have to cover that. They are able to do so successfully. Post University gets it. In the nick of time. They uh they made that one scary though. Yeah. So now Montclair gonna be back up to full strength here. With the rifles. Placing a bot. Turn out. And post isn't changing anything. Name broke, don't fix it.
Knife lets uh, Montclair know that nobody is in mid. They're still not really trying to take much advantage of that, though. Uh, Mojo is in a pretty uh, tough position. That's going to be a trade. One for one. I suppose he's going to be happy with that because it's one rifle down. Time to jump. Mojo getting themselves a way out here. So they're just waiting. Alex is going to peek here any second. Ooh. Doesn't quite catch the rotation there. Very, very patient game coming out here from Montclair, but they're going to have to move pretty quickly here soon. Chris Ramirez throwing a little bit of damage through a wall. Alex does find one. Chris looks for another. It's going to be traded out. Beautifully done here. It's going to be briefly bright. Flighted by those smokes. Gets another one. The machine gun working overtime. So the plant does come out onto A, but there is a one-player advantage. And now the rifle. There is a rifle in Chris's hands. Alex does get once to even the playing field just a little bit. But Chris knows where they are. Or at least has a good idea. See if he can take this high ground. Alex pushing through pretty aggressively. Standing ahead. Gonna look for that One kill. Able to three. drop him at the last second. They still have to deal with JWNE, and that's not something to be scoffed at. Oh. JWNE isn't able to get the pick of 4K for Chris this time around, and Post University is on a roll. Big round win. That was the round that Montclair was supposed to win. They had the guns, they had the advantage, but now there's momentum behind Post University. They're going to be the ones with a full buy, and now Dissident is going to be the one with the Operator. And it looks like Dissident wants to hold down mid from tree. Which is interesting. That's I really like that because that's still going to give mid presence while basically anchoring down A side. Although it looks like a little bit of util coming out from KJ as well. So it's an interesting strategy to just kind of keep mid Standing under ahead. their control. Oh, but Gel! Going to be quicker on the mark, so that operator needs to stay in the hands of Post University. That's going to be a big thing, because if Jell is able to pick that up, that could be devastating. They look for a shot on L. Don't find it. Going to be missed twice. Actually, I guess that was the marshal, not the operator. Ooh. Yeah, a couple of players waiting there to even the score line. Contact made mid. Traveling. Recon Bolt doesn't find anything. Nice trade there from Al. Keep it 3v3. 30 seconds left here. So it's going to have to be a move. Beautiful shot. Can post University in advantage left. now. That does, so, does go down. I'll handle this. Yeah, I love the call for the dimensional drift here to get just all the information they can about where the enemy team is. Defuse the spike. I'm back. Yeah, they pull out the util. A little bit more goes out. Nice job with the flash right there. Able to get another one. Finds the first. Is going to be able to hold off the second player long enough for L to come in and get the pick. And the defuse is there. They have pulled within two. <laughs> uh, Chris has been a big fan of these machine guns and has gotten a lot of value out of them. I love to see it. Uh, Revealing area. Interesting to see from your Sova too. K 
Kato's ult is going to be the big one to watch for here. Take flight. And I think we can anticipate a pretty quick push in right here. Once, um, once they pop it. So Post University is going to need to be able to react quickly when they hear that ultimate and rotate quickly as well. This is actually kind of the most spread I've seen him, but Dissident finds Alex, so they don't even have to worry about that anymore. That big threat is off the board. Shots exchanged. Dissident on the ground here. Almost takes one out. It's going to be a trade, though, so still an advantage for Post one University. Nice catches. Spike Goth looking the a. other way. The spike has been dropped as well. Post University in complete control of it. Just have Soba to take care of in mid. Anticipating Mojo probably making contact first here. Although, Hell or Kel could sneak up on them. 30 seconds left. Yeah, L finds them. <laughs> Just look at the other way. Played it nice and patient. One round in between both of these squads. Three ultimates on each side. The knives could come out here. But it's going to be a full buy from both teams, so... My guess is Jell's going to save. They've already got, they've got the rifle out. Alarm bot out. But now that they've got the rifles, I think this is going to be the round that we are going to see um, Alex use their ultimate. Mojo's actually pushed up super aggro here. Oh, huge. Massive. Two picks right off the bat. Now we're going to have the Hunter's Fury coming in as well. Gel does revive Alex, but Chris is able to just gun through the wall with that uh, machine gun. Kel's going to have to be careful here as players start to drop onto the point. They're able to get a pair, though, as they didn't quite check as well as they should have. Kel now has complete control over the spike. Spike's here. So 3v1, but JW and NE is able to take out two. All Kel needs to do is just hold these angles. Stay safe. Pulls their bot back in. Knows that they've got to get the spike. JW and going to throw out the Aldrone. So if Kel can avoid being detected here, that's going to be huge for them. Yep, they hear the buzz, and they stay behind the wall. Sentry is down to now. That's going to help cover one angle and give a lot of information to Kel. Kel definitely in the better position here just left. due to the utility and where down. the spike is. Placing alarm bot. All right, goes out as well. JWNE going to turn this corner a little bit. Finds the kill. Kelp brings post university even. At nine apiece, the momentum firmly in their hands now at this point. Turn out. Alarm bot out. Placing swarm grenade. Still no timeout from the other side. Actually, a little bit surprised at that, but. You are divided! Cosmic Divide, that's going to be a nice entry tool right here. And yeah, look at that. They're able to take a site completely. So now L trying to see if they can find something just in the smoke, but unable to. Cover going out. Mojo on the high ground here. This is going to be very, very tough for Post to deal with. That Aldrone's going to give a lot of information. Let's let them know they are in the high ground. What beautiful positioning and shots there from Mojo. They find another one, but Goth is able to take them down. So Post University at a deficit. Now they've tied it up there. They're going to have to push in relatively quickly to get this defuse. Otherwise, it's going to be the lead gained from Montclair once again. And oh, that util just might be enough to seal the deal. Montclair. Retakes the lead. They say you can tie it up, but you're not going to take the lead. Three rounds they need in order to put this one away versus Post University's four. Placing sentry.
But Post has built up such a war chest that they're going to be able to get another full buy, and they've got a lot of really impactful out. ultimates ready to go. Kel, especially with Placing that lockdown. Placing swarm grenade. But the big difference here, honestly, is that uh, the Hunter's Fury um, is on the side of Montclair. We don't have one for Post University, which means that lockdown can be dealt with Target by Montclair. Beautiful pair of kills from Mojo to shut that push down. Expertly played Dimensional Drift there. Cover going out. A little bit of contact being made. We're on B site. They're backing up, though, pretty significantly. Montclair looking through mid, but that's going to be held out pretty well by Chris. Gel, though, one taps them. Bring them within one, but Dissonant able to pick up one and dash behind cover. So two-player advantage. One enemy remaining. Kel probably going to be the one to make contact with Gel as they take out the turret. Left. Dissident, though, unable to stop Gel. Do they use the lockdown right now? Gel, actually, finding three. Initiated. Spike planted. Oh, they do get the spike down. Beautiful bait with the lockdown from Kel to get the pick and get the defuse. Love that bait. Oh, no, no. You don't so, Post University it. ties it at 10 apiece. Turn out. Three rounds apiece to put this one away. Placing alarm box. Swarm grenade. The beautiful thing about that, Placing too, is grenade. Sova was down, so the Hunter's Fury wasn't a concern, right, for that lockdown. So now that Hunter's Fury has a little bit less value. They're going to be looking to use it in a post-plant situation, right, to just kind of cover the spike. Make sure nobody can get that defuse. <laughs> that sounds like a Sova spraying a machine gun. Ooh, Dissonant then able to pick one up. Give an early advantage to post. Chris is gonna go ahead and reload. Give her just some damage through a wall. To run. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. They're able to dodge one of them. They get the second out. They're gonna be able to get the third, too. Chris has gotta be aware that they're trying to push through. Yeah, some of the util goes off Not as well. Ready. Ooh, just a little bit Not off with the really aim. Really. Found them. Gotham would takes a lot of damage. Oh, beautiful job with the blind there. Notice that somebody's pushing through mid. It's gonna have to be quick though against Yell. They're a tough shot. Mojo is gonna be able to pull it off. Flash comes out. They take a little bit themselves. They're able to back off, hold on to their life. Kel finds one more. Ten no way left. here that I think there's any time for Montclair to plant. So, Post University just has to stay alive, and they're just going to hide at this point. Maybe look if they can get a couple of kills here at the end. After the round is already done, Al does pick up one, so they got to be happy about that. Do a little bit more damage to the Econ. Post University has the lead for the first time this map, and just at the right time, 11 to 10. They just need to put two rounds away to tie this series at one apiece. All has from the shadows, ready to go. Yep, the knives come out. 
Oh, for the other squad, actually. They're actually pushing into A site very, very quickly. Going all the way through spawn. Still, they haven't quite pushed in yet. Chris Ramirez is right on the edge here. Oh my gosh. Dissident does find one. Looks like a shock bolt lineup. STL is able to get one. Looks for another one. Finds Chris just looking up in the air. Mojo now seeing if they can try and even things up, but I don't think they're aware that Goth is kind of in that corner. They do notice a little bit of a shoulder. They're able to get one. That's going to be a trade in favor of Post University. So now the question is, they got to deal with gel. They got to deal with Fahrenheit. They try to, but both swing on them at the same time. Unable to isolate that duel. Nice job from Dissident. Can they get this final pick? Spike is starting to heat up. They're going to have to do it quickly. Trying to push Fahrenheit out just a little bit. Oh, there comes the util. Is it going to be enough time? They're going to have to find this kill and get the defuse. Not going to be able to do it at this point. So now, just looking to get that kill. Just looking to get that econ a little bit more in their favor. Both of them are going to die here. So, <laughs> 11 apiece. Now it is back and forth, Chad. It is back and forth. But crucially, doesn't it still has their knives? That actually depleted Montclair of a lot of their util, but Alex is going to be able to get their ultimate online, which could be uh, definitely a game changer, right? I think both of those ults are going to be the ones to watch out for. That's going to be kind of the situation to see, uh, to watch as it progresses. Montclair able to get a lot of rifles. Uh, almost a full buy, just half, shield, half shields on Goth, but Goth is likely going to be hanging back quite a bit. So hopefully for them, they don't have to use it. It's going to be a big a site push, it looks like. As, yeah, Chris is going to throw out that Al drone. No luck with the spray and pray that time with the machine gun. Or the rifle, I guess. Astro's going to pull that star away. This means they've still got several in store. Big rotation coming in. Kel probably going to be the one to make first contact. They've actually backed up pretty significantly. Ooh, star comes out. Yeah, there's the ultimate now from Montclair. Nicely done. Just spraying through. Mojo finds a pair, but it's going to be eventually taken out by Joe. So one player advantage here for Post University. They do get um, Alex back up, but still going to be an advantage here. JWNE just equalized it, though. Jell still got an opportunity. It's just going to be down now. Too distant. Can they hold on? JWNE does throw out. Beautiful. Done. Beautiful shot coming out from distant, but now they got to be aware. The movement coming out from Sova. 12, 10 seconds left to go. All they have to do is guard left. this spike and Post University picks up around. There's the only hope now for Montclair is to get this pick. This did just needs Close. to stay hidden and they're able to do that. Easy. Post University on match point to bring this to three. JWNE does eventually match get the point. kill, but Need the more drop. important thing is the round went to Post University and now they're sitting on two ultimates. Number one, going to be a uh, two very, very... Um, deadly ultimates, especially if you use them together. And now Montclair does not have the rifles that they want for this round. Neither uh, Post doesn't quite have everything they want either. And we can see, yeah, the Dimensional Drift is ready to go immediately. And yeah, not surprised as well to see Dissonant over there with the knives. They know they're literally all right here. able to get one down. Can it be a second? No, it's going to be traded out. A lot of damage, though, done to Goth as well. Just in playing safe. They've only got three other uh, knives left. No charges left. Montclair just patiently waiting. I like Elle's positioning here as well. As Alex looks like they want to start pushing at some point soon. Shadows traveling. Elle briefly turns their back. Alex hasn't made a move just yet. And in fact, 
Yeah, Montclair is going to start to rotate. Shadows traveling. Ooh, no, they faked the rotation? They faked the rotation. 30 seconds left. And they are aware. Montclair is at least that there's a lot of people. 20 seconds left, so the hit's gonna have to come out here. Ooh, the Cosmic Divide is gonna be big. That's gonna allow them to get on the point. The knives are a miss, but the other shots ring a true. So it's gonna be a 3v3, 10, 10 seconds, seconds left to go. Can they get the pick? This thing caught in kind of a tough position. That's gonna be a one player advantage now, too. But can they get the spike down? Two seconds left to go. One Doesn't look remaining. like they will. And post university brings it back. The 9 3 curse is still alive. The 9 3 curse is real. And we're going to see a map number three. What a phenomenal showing here on Ascent. As we can see, Mojo has now destroyed <laughs> the previous record uh, for number three lifetime kills for Post University. So we're going to throw it to a quick break while we uh, let these players get some water, stretch their legs, things like that. Um, don't go anywhere. Uh, we will be back soon.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the action. Currently sitting at one apiece, Post University made a phenomenal comeback on um, uh, Ascent just now. So, to bind we go. Map number three. And this is a map that Post University, I think, has looked very, very strong on. I, uh, this was, I believe, the map a few days ago, or maybe it was a week ago, where they went um, seven rounds in a row on their attack to get the win. Um, so can't wait to see what's going to happen here. Uh, this isn't actually looking like they're going to go with the raise this time. So I haven't seen this in play uh, this agent yet. But of course, it's a very, very popular one on a bind. Um, L currently thinking about Brimstone. I love this pick as well. And Mojo back on the Yoru. It's been working well for him today. So love to see it. Um, something interesting is we do have Goth on the Fade, so haven't seen her yet a whole lot, uh, this, uh, spring split, so, yeah, excited to see how that's gonna look, what that's going to end up being like. Chris does eventually go over to the Sova. And Gel, interesting, giving the Jet to Fahrenheit and instead going for the Cyber. So Gel on the Cyber actually could be kind of terrifying, right? Because normally that's more kind of a lurking agent. Um, but if you've got somebody who's lurking like that and who just has, you know, the kind of aim that would justify them playing Jet frequently, um, that definitely is going to be something to watch for. It will be post-university attacking first. Couple of ghosts coming out. May use some shields. Cypher's great on this map because you can keep taps on kind of like the rotations, especially through the portals and things like that. Plus, so definitely looking to there. start things off on a site. You're going to be running yeah. into three defenders. Looks like they kind of want to try and run it towards U-Haul. Flash goes out. Satchel out. Dissident looks like they want to try and drop in. They're going to do it almost immediately on the Dissident takes down most of their health, but it is going to be JWNE who gets the first pick. Chris finds one. JWNE is taking a bit of damage there, but the stim is going to help out tremendously as they one drop remaining. Post University to just one player. Uh. It's going to be Kelp looking for that kill. Does find it in the end. So Montclair starting out strong with one round. Shame. But it was a very close one. I really liked uh, the way that Post entered that site with Dissident kind of leading the way uh, with those satchels. So, JW, you're going to go ahead and pull out the Marshall. And uh, you can see him there holding up in that top right-hand corner. That's going to be the spot you're always looking to put your sniper. <laughs> Dude, jump peeking. Oof! Takes a couple of body shots from Alex to drop him down to 30 HP. Drug goes out to try and get a little bit of information. I could be able to push in. Nobody down just yet. Shock dart. Yeah, shock dart probably not gonna find anybody, <laughs> seeing as they have gotten completely out of you all. Grim's gonna go ahead and rotate. Is the rest of the team gonna follow? Is it just gonna be one? Is that rotate just to try and bait a couple of players from Montclair? And it looks like it might have been. Jell does find L, though. It's dissonant, currently thinking about pushing out onto point, but the spike isn't there. The spike is going to be on B site. Mojo is taking a lot of damage. Alex finishes him off. Ooh, they're going to be able to take down Chris as well. 
Spike down A. Flawless. And two quick rounds. We Go the way of Montclair. By now, Post will have their rifles. So again, this is important. This is the round that they need to win. Cal almost already has their ultimate, which is absolutely massive for Post University. Any of these information gathering ultimates are some of the biggest ones that you can have in Valorant. Oh, information is just of the utmost importance, uh, you know, just in any kind of tax shooter based game. This is going to be tagged by that fade, you tell. Camera is going to pick him up. Ocho probably heard that camera moving around. Smokes are going to come in. Decoy. Yeah, decoy goes out. They may be able to pull gel with it. In fact, they are able to get somebody coming in the opposite way. Yeah, Goth goes down. Dissin finds another one very quickly. Can be able to push out on the site. Should be able to plant with relative ease at this point. As everybody else on Montclair Time to jump. is on a different site. <laughs> Beautifully done by Mojo. Gonna have to gonna be able to back out too to safety. Takes the jump. Peak. But just finds their teammate. Joe makes a little bit of noise in hookah. So Mojo may be able to get the jump on them as they try to dash onto One point. Yeah, not going to be able to find anything. A beautiful round for Post University. So now we go to round number four where it's going to be rifles galore. In fact, both Mojo and Kelp are right about to get their ultimates. The big one, though, to be scared of is Alex with the uh, Showstopper. That could be a problem. Here. Well played. Not going to be caught by the Fade Util this time. A little bit of contact made with Goth. They're going to be stuck over near that portal now. Ooh, the paint shell's keeping them over there. They're going to get the blind on them, too. Can they turn this corner fast enough? The boom bot goes in. In fact, they just TP out, which is honestly a pretty big deal anyway. Kel is there to take them out as they exit, too, on the other side of the map. Ooh, but this takes a lot of damage there in the cyber cage. Beautiful TP from Mojo. Regain control of the point. Post University with a two-player advantage now. Currently, Kel dueling and dealing with JW. They're going to be chased off. Standing ahead. L pushing around to the back of point. Spike is down. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything about One it. They're going for the remaining. defuse, but Chris takes them out. That's going to do it. Post University picks up another round, but everybody just about <laughs> dies to the spike. So, uh, fortunately for Post, they've got plenty in the bank, so they're going to be able to get their rifles back. The only player left standing there was Kel. Wow, this is a nice spot. And Post University has had a lot of su success here on B-Site. I think they're just going to keep pushing it until they find a reason not to. 
Contact gotta be made here in Hookah, I think, pretty quickly. Deploying drone. Yeah, Chris is gonna throw out the drone to see what info they can get. They find Fade. Shock Dart goes out. He's gonna be able to do a little bit of damage, but Alex swings and is able to get them down instead. So, post down one player, but a lot of damage onto Fade. Now, Mojo is able to finish off Fahrenheit, so the trade has come in. This university looking pretty good now. Got a couple of players rotating. Yeah, now it's going to be a big A site hit, and there's nobody there. In fact, it's just going to be uh, Cypher pushing up towards heaven. In fact, Distance going to get there into the smoke, finds them peeking through. The plant goes down. So, a wonderful rotation from Post University. One enemy remaining. Kel the Kelp finds one. By the way, that is a sub tonight. That is, uh, as um, was mentioned in chat, that is multi Kel from the Overwatch team. Post University goes up another. The momentum is back for the Eagles. A couple ultimates on board. That dimensional drift has been beautiful in the hands of Mojo tonight. I'm excited to see if he uses it, or if he waits for something else to come in that they could kind of combine it with. Chris isn't far behind with the Hunter Strike, so that's a wonderful combo to use. And we've already seen them use it together. But no, the Dimensional Drift is going to come out now. I'll handle this. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and scout. Good. Here. On point. Here. They found two players. They might be able to isolate to this duel. I'm back. Oh, Mojo takes a little bit of a damage there from their own teammate. Chris Here. finds gel in the meantime. Here. Fake teleport. Decoy. Trying to push some people out through that long hallway. Goth gets one. Mojo down, finds the Colat. It's going to be a 3v3 now. Mojo's pushed up pretty aggressively here. So they're going to have a good angle if somebody tries to push through that door. Kel's in a good spot, but they're taking a lot of damage from the side. Mojo trades one, one out. They're going to go down. Now it's just going to be one player remaining, Goth. Mojo with just a sliver of health, though, too. Dissonant holding on this angle. is able to catch Goth as they peek. Post University up by two. A couple of showstoppers on board as well. So a lot of firepower for each of these teams. Kind of waiting in the mix. I'll just about has orbital strike too. Which again, when you're on attack, it's there. just beautiful post plant utility, right? You just keep somebody off Let's that defuse. So look to L to kind of hold back, to kind of play back just a little bit. Of course, they're going to be probably using the stem to help their team get in, but for the most part, they're going to be dropping back. Knives are out for Fahrenheit. Post is definitely going to need to be wary of that. JW and E peaks. Paint shells to clear a little bit of space there. Fahrenheit's peeking up here, so Dissident is going to have to be on the mark here to make sure they get this pick. Alex finds one. Here comes the satchel. They're going out with it. Looks like they're going to get one. Can they get another one? They are able to get two. That's going to be a pair for Dissident to start things off. 14 HP. And <laughs> unfortunate. I did not know about that interaction. And now I do. Spike is down. So Post University is happy. They've got a one player advantage here. A little bit of the space has been reclaimed though. By Montclair, that's going to be a nice smoke, too, but Dissonant's going to be able to just kind of peek over the top of it. JWNE going to be pushing in. They find Kel, but Dissonant's going to be there for it. Here comes the it's a 4K for Dissonant. They don't quite get the 5, but beautiful play coming out. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia and uh, Shade and Chad, <laughs> I think you mean Overwatch 2. I do mean Overwatch 2. <laughs> I miss the real Overwatch. You, you know what I don't miss, Elysian? Is double shield. So.
A lot of momentum behind <laughs> Post University right now. Alex, once again, going to be the one to look for here for Montclair. A lot of different ways you can use this ultimate from Chris. Boombot goes out. They're going to be able to bake out a couple of people there. Dissonant finds Gel with the Boombot, no less. Ooh, nice. Trap there by Fade. He a couple players at bay, but they're going to be able to turn the corner and find him. Dissonant now leading the way through these hallways. Smojo gets the plant. Hell is going to come head to head here with JW. Takes them down. We're looking at a flawless round potentially here for Post University. It's going to be Alex. Can they find it? And they do. A 3K for Dissident. Post University just picking up steam at this point. Fahrenheit has actually been completely shut down this round. Not able to get anything really going there. It doesn't has another showstopper. They had it like two rounds ago. They've absolutely been on fire. So the worst that post can get here is going to be an even half. Actually, we're going to have to wait for that showstopper. He's going to peek. Kind of clear that angle. Gel finds another one. So Montclair in a good situation here. Ooh, shock dart. Try and bait people out, but not going to find anything. Was University aware that somebody's kind of pulling around this corner? God, just holds that angle. It's going to be traded out, but that really only benefits uh, Montclair at this point. Post University needs a couple of unanswered kills here. Going to be some contact here from L. They're not going to be aware of Alex kind of waiting in the wings. It's going to be up to Kel. A 1v4. Can they isolate each of these duels? Nice job using that cage to kind of shield their movement, but it is going to go to Montclair. Four ultimates ready to go here for post. In particular, this dimensional drift. This, in combination, I think, with the showstopper, could be devastating. And we can see that, honestly, Mockler is playing pretty far away, so that, that showstopper isn't really going to get a ton of value, potentially. Oh, beautiful. Satchel comes in. Are they going to be able to get the kill? Not quite. Nice spray from Mojo to finish him off. Goes for the shock, finds Fahrenheit peeking through. U-Haul doesn't see them on the way in. That's going to be two for Mojo. Closed. Now does get the spike down. Chris finds one. Mojo looking up towards the high ground, but JW holds that strong. Now looking to see if they can find anybody through U-Haul. Cleared that, so they know everybody has to be CT at this point. Actually, no. Fade. Has pushed up. One enemy oh, remaining. Nicely done from Chris. Fade goes for the defuse, but it's not going to be able to find it, so Post University has a winning half at this point. They have pulled to seven. I have money. A little heavy-handed on the ultimates there, but they got the job done. This is going to need to be a save round here for... Eh, kind of a save for... No, nah, it's a force round for Montclair. Switching things up a little bit, so Fade's going to go over to A-Site this time. 
As opposed to, I've gotten pretty aware of that util at this point. Take flight. This has been ready for it right at the beginning of the round. Of course, information is good, and that still gives you information. This is aware that they've got Cypher on point. Can they go ahead. for a recon dart as well. Gel's going to be tagged. Chris tries to just... Oh, Gel in a perfect position to pick up a pair. Alex finds another one. So now Post University in a little bit of a tough position, especially now considering that Cypher has used their Here. ultimate. Goth coming out. It's going to be gunned down. L finds one, but that's going to be it. Last round before the switch. So Post University still with a full buy. Got the spike. Both squads, as a matter of fact. Ah. Ooh, a dissident early advantage goes towards post. It's able to take out one. Okay. Let's see if the boom bot finds anything. That's gonna be a clear hallway. So there's a map control gained here. Got so is here. post actually thinking about the rotation? Montclair has actually pulled up pretty aggressively here. They've taken a lot of map control uh, away from Post. Post does have the kill advantage. Oh, no, they don't. They, uh, were, that was evened out. I missed that. So now Kel able to get that advantage back, though. Which means now Montclair is going to have to fall back, and Goth is going to be the only person on I B know site. exactly where you Ooh. are. Ooh. Beautiful use of Kel's ultimate to let them know that, yeah, it's just one player remaining here on B. They do have backup now as Brim has come in. Big rotation coming in. They pulled everybody off of A site. So they're going to be able to get this plant completely for free and get this high ground. This is going to be able to hold this long angle to prevent the rotation coming in. So Brimstone going to need to be very careful of this. JW needs to take this corner, take this angle easily, or rather carefully. So actually, now Mojo has pulled up uh, pretty aggro as well. JW not looking in the right direction. <laughs> Mojo finds there. Gel not checking all their corners either. So now it's just one player remaining, and they are so far from sight and with just a sliver of health. It's not going to be any way for them to get this defuse in time. They do pick out Mojo. They're able to get that, but... Open up the sky. Yeah, there comes the last little bit to prevent the round from going the way of Montclair. We're looking at an 8-4 half for Post University. Switching sides. Now the timeout comes in. Ooh, it looks like we have a DC. Might need to be a... Tech timeout. Gonna have somebody restarting your computer. Oh wait, no, looks like they might be back already. So now Post University just needs five rounds to put this one away. Bring themselves to two and one in this spring split. Big thing Post needs to do, I think, is just continue to keep Alex under control. Alex does have a good KDA. Um, however, I think... They've slowed down just a little bit. And that has helped tremendously. Okay, it looks like Fahrenheit is back. They they had not reconnected yet. So glad to see that they made it back in.
And this makes sense. Uh, dissident holding hookah. This is a great place for rays. A lot of angles you can bounce paint shells off of. Boombot works well here. Early TP. <laughs> I like that. Mojo just playing mind games right here. Ooh, gets a couple nice shots in. But some damage coming through. Ooh, the paint shells bring him down to two. He's able to get a lot of damage in. But unable to get the kill. So L finishes one off. So that's going to be a nice trade there. Watching here. He got the stem. That's going to be Brim pushing through the smoke. It's a 2v1. That's going to go the way of Montclair. So both Dissident and Kel are going to be forced to rotate as quick as they can. Back over to A site. The plant, uh, Spike still hasn't gone down. Just making sure site was secure, I suppose. Spike planted. Everybody on Montclair with very little health, yeah. so... Again, if Post University can kind of isolate these, um, isolate these players, get one v ones in their favor, can go pretty well for him. This isn't gonna turn this corner into U-Haul. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. Spike Ham has revealed them though. The dart is in them. They're gonna have to take care of that. They have to move relatively quickly to make something happen here. Yeah, those paint shells are gonna be great to force them out. Able to get one kill, but there's only one player remaining. That is distant, and that spike is. Dropping pretty quickly, they get one pick, but the double swing from Montclair is going to secure the round. Now the defense with a timeout. Yeah, Meech's, uh, Meech's timeouts have been great for Post University, so I anticipate this kind of being the same here. Um, and I like the fact that we're seeing it early from Post University. A lot riding on the line here. Question is, how does Post deal with this? Push coming in. Are they going to try and all stack on one site? That's certainly one way you can handle. Uh, you can try and handle a situation like this. I guess I'm curious to see if this is Meech with some grand plan strategy coming out, or if this is just general pep talk to bring the team back. Right, get that focus again. Although, honestly, they did do bad. I mean, it was a very, very close round. I don't think Montclair ended with a total of 50 HP between any of them. Ooh, Mojo takes a little bit of damage early on. And that has an opportunity to get a pick here. Grenade. The shells go out. <laughs> Barely dodges that fade util. It's a lot of contact made, but no kills just yet. Now we got the rotation. Mojo holding a pretty aggressive angle here. This is kind of a do or die angle. Ooh. Alex, I thought for sure saw Mojo there, but apparently not. Mojo drops back just in time to get out of the way of that cyber cage, too. Right here. It's gonna be another pick spike in favor of Post eight. University. They're able to get the spike down too. Trying to spray through that cyber cage. Taken down. Oh, eventually finds gel. Two player advantage, and they're gonna be able to pick up Gun some nice here. guns here. Everybody's left. rotating over towards the A side as now. It's definitely known that the pick is coming in here. Fahrenheit finds two, is able to drop down onto the point. What a play coming out from JW to just reduce Post University down to just a couple, but both players swing at the same time from Post and are able to get the defuse. That is a massive round win for Post. Chat, massive. That has negated the eco advantage that Montclair Never had show weakness ever
Four rounds to go for post. Yeah, Mojo loves this TP move here. Just dropping back into the teleporter. Was just holding that position for the moment. Quick push in is going to take out Dissonant. They learned that uh, Dissonant is like to push up pretty far there. It's going to end up paying for it. Cal on point, but everybody from Montclair is just swarming Post University at the moment. So all the util is going to be set up. It's going to be a 5v3. No more left. Post just forced away while they see this util expire. Cyber Cage goes up as well. Ooh, Fahrenheit able to do a little bit of damage there. So it's going to be down to Mojo 1v4. My nice shot ready. there from Mojo. I'm gonna get another one. So some damage done, but the round does go to Montclair. But still, I believe that Post University just saved there, so they're gonna be able to buy pretty well at this point. Kel, the only one really not sitting with a whole lot of money, but they may be able to buy. Uh, Chris might be able to buy things for him. Oh no, not quite. So. The big thing, though, Mojo does have Dimensional Drift. But on the other hand, Fahrenheit, now that they've reconnected, I think there must have been some internet issues there. They have put five on the board this half. Nobody going to be waiting outside the door this time for Mojo. At least not immediately. Cal keeping an eye on main. For B. Hear some noise. Yeah, gonna go ahead and get the cyber cage, cage out. Ooh, it takes a bit of damage from the paint shells. Nice shot. That's gonna be two for Mojo as well. So Post University picking up strong where they left off. Somebody might be sneaking up here on Kel if they're not careful. Tagged. Oh, beautiful one job. Remaining. This is able to get one more down. 30 seconds That's Chris. Left. Looking through Hookah. Got the last player standing for Dissonant. Already taken out one. Right here. 20 seconds left to go. They're going to be forced to plant, but the spike is well behind them. So at this point, I think Goth is just going to try and save, maybe get a kill or two on the way out. So they know there's no Ten way they're going to be left. able to win this round as they get pinged as well by the spy dart. Ah. It does eventually over. get Cal, but Chris is able to get the trade. So 10 rounds. Three is the magic number for Post University to take this map and take this match. Which would put both teams at a 2-1 record. Yeah, Dimensional Drift going to come out immediately. They're going to find literally the entire team. Oh, beautiful. That's going to isolate Brim right here. Going to be able to take him out quickly. Wonderful heads-up play from Post University. The way that they use Mojo's Dimensional Drift as a team is absolutely tremendous. Now, Alex, sir, the TP. Now there's somebody going to be through there. Oh, nice decoy to get one. Looks for another one, but it's going to be a trade. 
a big help to post university. Now they're down to just three players. That they have to deal with. Fahrenheit tries to get something going with the knives, but isn't able to find anything. Dissonant takes a lot of damage, but they're still standing, which is the important thing for post. So Montclair is going to attempt the rotation here. 30 seconds left. With 30 seconds left to go, they're going to have to pick A at this point. And they're going to have to make a pretty quick rush for the point. This is beautiful. Chris is going to have an opportunity to kind of get behind him here. As L is going to kind of hold on to things in the front. Yep, the satchel has come One in. Looking for an opportunity is Alex, but left. they just go right into the sights of L. Post University, two rounds remain. There's a showstopper online now for Dissident. Mojo back with her standard TP shenanigans. All the action is going to be on A site, though, as JW trades. Mojo in kind of a difficult position here. They've got 10 HP. They go for a flash. They're able to find one. JW trades. Plus University down one at this point. Ooh, going to try and prevent the plan here. Going to send things in. Looking for that kill from the showstopper, able to find it. Another right off the back of it. Clears that corner. A little bit of damage coming in from Alex. Now it's just going to be up to Kel. Nice little satchel there coming out from Alex. But Kel follows him, gets the pick, and gives post match point one. Round remains. Post University to bring it all home. Match point. I saw the desperation. Let's use that. This goes here. Yes, this should do. That goes there. Ah, oh, this is a nice spot. Area. A lot of rifles on board, a lot of an ultimates here. That's going to be a big dart. Here comes all of the ultimates out from Montclair. It's going to be a trade, though, as Mojo finds one, but Alex does get their showstopper out in style. Mojo throwing out a flash, does bounce one, gets the colat, but Gel comes in from behind with a neural theft. Here comes one enemy remaining. Big ultimate from Brim, but doesn't catch anybody. So now it's up to Dissident. One player remaining. And Kel finds Defenders them in the win. end. Post University takes the map and takes the match, improving the record to 2-1 to one on the season here at the NECC. Congratulations. Both squads played fantastic tonight. But Post University, they have just found so much success on Bind this spring, and they continue to do just that. Once again, big shout out to uh, Mojo as well for reaching that number three spot, the all time frag. Uh, list for post university so well done tonight um, you blew it away as well I think in the end there uh, Mojo um, put up a lot of big numbers tonight so very excited about that very happy uh, for them so thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Appreciate you coming in to show your post-university eagles some support. Um, that's going to do it for us here, but be sure to follow all of post-university social media. Uh, follow, um, make sure you follow them on Twitch. We've got two channels. Uh, if you've enjoyed my casting night, I am Warren Juggle God Hamill. Would appreciate a follow as well anywhere social media can be found. Um, and be sure to come back for more esports action with the Post University Eagles. GG's and see you next time.